I, I think you almost have like a, a stethoscope to the C-suite in your book. Would you remind us of some of those lessons that storytellers, data synthesizers, explainers need to remember so they don't go off on a tangent and they're not speaking to the busy executive that's got you know, a need to, to know immediately? Yeah, I think it's interesting because what's interesting about executives is a lot of them wouldn't be there if they weren't really, really bright. And we fly at a high level and we do obsess about a broader vision. And we're hoping that the people that come in, you know, you do kind of the parade of communications to kind of the parade of briefings, I guess it could be called, where you're trying to get um, missing insights or new insights because most executives are living about a year to 18 months in the future. And these become road signs for us to decide, hang a right, hang a left. Oh, caution, caution, you know, we're looking at these road signs. So when we see someone on the agenda, we start to set an expectation of what are the gaps in our perception or what are the missing elements I need to make a really good sound decision. And we're expecting you to bring that. These big, vast decks are important. Like I actually think that those are alignment exercises. So we can't necessarily throw the person out that comes with a 100 person deck because all that energy they put where their department crowdsourced a strategy, crowdsourced a direction and aligned around things, I would still hope they do that part of the exercise and build these whatever 100 page decks that become the guiding principle for what they need to do. But they blow it when they come in to talk to the exec. And um, part of that is um, not understanding their Narrative. I think in about three minutes, you can paint the bigger picture, state what your data story is and your data point of view and the action that needs to be happening. That's the most important thing to get out quickly. Then you can have a, a curate the best uh, best charts, the, the most compelling reasons why that support the case, maybe five slides is all. Everything else is appendix. Because when they start to flit around like a hummingbird and shock you with some perspective you've not considered, you need to be prepared to at least look or give the perception that you've done your homework. You can take it out of slideshow mode, bounce it to this um, appendix, uh, pull up slides on a fly, and, and it'll look like you're well rehearsed. Um, you have to be super prepared because what the execs trying to do is right the minute they even see you on the agenda, they formed a point of view. Yeah. And uh, it comes up like, I don't know, it's, I'm visual, so I could see everything. I can see everything, but maybe this part and this part are missing. And when I see someone on my agenda, I'm like, well, I'm expecting them to fill in these two holes. Yeah. So the minute it looks like they're not going to, I interrupt. I, I ask about this missing piece and this missing piece, so I make sure I see the whole future, and then I'm done. I just don't need to spend that much more time with them. And so I think just understanding that um, will take people pretty far.